Hello, everyone. Welcome to Weeb Talks episode, well, not episode, but special. We're going to be reviewing, reviewing the new Broly movie that came out about a week ago here in America. Yeah. But before, um, before we do that, I have an announcement to make. I would like to issue an uh, apology to our good friend Brandon, who the reason why he's not here most of the time is due to some circumstances that have been affecting him the last few weeks. I won't go into detail, but I was an asshole because I wasn't aware of any of any of this. So we'll um, we'll only be making fun of him yeah. for a while. It's just a way to gets better, and if he's still not here, then we make fun. Then we'll make fun of him again. But as it stands right now, we're not gonna crack any jokes. So if you wonder where Brandon is, he's doing shit. He's busy. Yeah. So, Zach, um, we went down to the Alamo to watch this shit. Yeah, it was pretty fun. It was a pretty fun movie. Um, fortunately, we were stuck with, stuck in between two fucking, sm- two horrible small neck beards. Um, yeah, that that wasn't the best. But you know what? I think one, I think one, I think one had a fucking team for sorry, sir. The one next and that was like the moon. The one next to me stole half the fries from my fucking thing, and I didn't say anything about it because I didn't want to start shit. He will unchief his katana and cut you. He'll <laughs> <laughs> end me. Yeah. My cat's trying to get through my door, and you can hear a fucking bell jingling. <laughs> so let's start up the synopsis of the movie. It's basically, hey. It's like the first episode is selling out some of the basic shit from Dragon Ball, you know, the Saiyan world. Yeah. It's like, this is really strong fucking baby. But uh oh, no baby can be stronger than the prince baby. So yeet that fucking kid to, to a new planet. And his kid's dad, like, oh, what the fuck, man? That's my kid. <laughs> so he, uh, he forces another guy that did not want to be involved in this shit. To go with him on a fucking alien planet to save his kid. Mm. And then proceeds to kill him. Like an asshole. As you do. So yeah, then I... Like, a lot of people probably fucking heard the synopsis for me. There's literally thousands of fucking reviews already by more popular channels than us. Yeah. We're just gonna give you an opinion of what the fucking movie is. It's a good movie. Yeah. It's probably the only good anime Dragon Ball movie in a while. And honestly, if you don't like, honestly, if you don't like it, that's okay because I can stand why. Yeah, that's the general ground here. It's like, what are your, what are some of your thoughts? It was a fun movie. Um, kind of clocked out halfway through because, you know, just I'm not like really that big a fan of Dragon Ball. I like it, but I don't. I wouldn't like say that I've seen, like. A super fan or something. See, I used to be a super fan. Not a fan of super, like a super fan of Dragon yeah, Ball. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Because I, I think as kids, we're all, like, almost everyone who grew up in 2000 was a fan of Dragon Ball. Oh, yeah, obviously. Like, like it was that first anime you watched. And I only, like, came out the phase recently after I found better fucking shit to watch. I dropped it, like, really early on, because, like, I, I knew about it through memes when I was little. Like, and because there was this one guy at my school who really, really liked it. it. Yeah, and, like, I thought, oh, yeah, doing these, like, fucking giant fucking blasts of energy is, like, really fucking cool. And it, like, looks pretty fun. But then I sat down and watched it. I I don't remember what episode I watched, but I was just like, why are they just talking? Where's the fighting? Yeah, Dragon Ball is like 50 50 on fighting and won't shut the fuck up already. Yeah, it's like, I don't care about these balls. I just want to see big explosions. But yeah, sometimes you just need dialogue in between the fights or else he's going to get. Yeah. Like, the, like halfway point in the Brolin movie, it's got way too much in the fighting. I, I enjoyed the like, fights, but I can see why. The fights were good, but I feel, like, I feel like it needed to be broken up more a bit. Yeah. It's already become repetitive after a while. Yeah. I think I think almost everyone's fucking favorite part was the green chick. Oh, obviously. Have you seen how Twitter's been reacting to her? She's, She's fucking somewhere too. everywhere. 
Oh, he fucking told me too. They, they, they fucking love her and they hate almost everything that's remotely feminine. Exactly. I I was actually tempted to draw her. <laughs> Again, this is the man who only likes only has two waifus he can he likes. Exactly. This but uh, I am switching gears here. Okay. When I was a kid, probably the first thing I ever was probably the first thing was to introduce me to Dragon Ball. Believe it or not, was the Max was the uh, the worst fucking Broly movie, and that was Broly Three Bio Broly. Why does that sound like a fucking like live action like movie title? God, it really that did it really does fucking sound like one. It fucking and the plot feels like one too. So the the plot was basically Broly's back again, but this time he looks like a fucking Resident Evil monster, and not the good what? kind. Just the just the ones that really look fucking badly designed. And he's defeated by fucking salt water. What did you just say to me? Salt water. The legendary, the legendary Super Saiyan was defeated a third fucking time by salt water. You're fucking kidding. Because here's the thing: he was a fucking sludge monster, and apparently salt water crystallized his body, so they broke him with that. What the fuck? That's it's like so a bad weird. alien movie plot. It basically was at a point at that point. <laughs> Like bro, bro was a fucking hor- was a horrible character. He had no reason to do anything. He was a pretty much an asshole because some other fucking kid was crying in the infirmary. But it's no shit, so like, there's gonna be fucking kids crying everywhere. They hate being born. <laughs> there's a reason why we cry. There's a reason why we cry when we're born. We hate. We already know how fucking horrible the world's gonna be. <laughs> We're just very, very, like, good at cognitive dissonance until we're, like, 12. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Uh. He was pretty much the shittiest kind of person you can meet. There was actually a decent post explaining why Broly's the almost living embodiment of toxin, uh, toxic masculinity. Which sounds weird when you say it out loud. But they basically explained that he had almost zero reason to do anything he did, but he still did because he's an asshole. I don't think that's toxic masculinity. I think that's just being... He dead. literally only cared about being stronger and just referred to anyone below him as worms. I'm pretty sure that's just being a dick. It's being a dick, but that's how they titled it. Mm. Not my problem, but whatever. Yeah. So this new Broly... He's a he's reluctant as fuck to do anything. He rather not fight anyone, but for, unfortunately, because his father doesn't want his son to become a fucking hulking monster that kills anything in his path, puts a sock collar on him. Mm-hmm. You know, so they can reasonably not yeah. fucking murder him, like you know the original movie. So he doesn't become Hulk. Yeah, that and. While this relationship is very fucking abusive, you can tell they care about each other enough. Like, Broly is genuinely, like, fucking shocked and just taken away when his father dies. Like, seeing his body is just enough to set him off. Mm -hmm. And Zach, you're trying to talk. I'm running off shit to say. I don't have much to say either. I'm... One of those, I don't have a lot of experience with Dragon Ball stuff, especially Broly, because this is the first Dragon Ball movie I ever saw at all, ever. Oh fuck! I gotta do most of the talking then. I I want to say we saw this movie like a few weeks ago, so we're not so we're not the most refreshed on it. Yeah. You know, we don't have the money to go fucking see it like three fucking times like certain YouTubers. I kind of wish I did. Like, you know, certain, like a certain YouTuber who fucking went to Japan to see it first, then saw it like three times in English. What the fuck? Yeah, that's Moscow X for you. What the fuck? How does Literally someone have that movie. much money? I don't fucking know. He could have probably put that as like a fucking business expense. <laughs>
I swear to God, YouTube gonna become. I swear to God, some people are gonna have, like protest for to let fucking like viners get free fucking tickets because YouTube because YouTube became counts as a business expense. I I would love that. Yeah, I'll give another reason why she has a so just fucking bomb the shit out of the own plate out out of the own the own job. Just collect all that explosives you you got from all the terrorists you stopped, and just end it all right there. Uh, this, mo- this movie is actually pretty well animated. I don't want to hear this bullshit of, one, of how it doesn't look the same or the inconsistency. You know, Ob- the obviously, it's not gonna look. Obviously, it's obviously it's not gonna look the same. It's got a bigger fucking budget probably than like the show. Yeah, like the thing about Dragon Ball Super, the the budget only got better near the last few fucking ep- yeah. episodes. Mm-hmm. The fucking bomb ass guy. Like there's a little, there's a little fucking book of all the really fucking badly drawn Goku's they can get in between still shots. And they're all glorious, and I wish I owned the fucking cells for them. Jesus. I I I would this probably movie. hang those on my wall. Wait. Fucking god damn it! This bird is so fucking loud. Or fake nighttime. This is what I get for trying to fucking sit downstairs and do a video down here for once. Why? Because if I go upstairs and the dog is going to go fucking insane. Because no one else is in the house right now. Oh, so I can take the N-word and um, <laughs> nobody's going to get mad in your house? I mean, I normally use Discord with headphones on anyway, so probably not. Well, I can't say the N-word in this podcast because then we get that. Because then we lose that one fucking viewer we have. Yeah. And that's me. They're pro- <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably... I'll probably get my ass beaten to death. And I'd get my ass beaten by association. <laughs> uh, so this movie's well animated. It's It takes a new style, but it makes it work in a way that it reflects on old Dragon Ball, like OG Dragon Ball. Mm-hmm. You know, it's none of that plasky fucking wood jawline shit we, we have for the last few years. It's nice and flowy. It works good with the characters. Like, it works. Mm-hmm. That's the line. I don't think it's going to be a consistent style because, you know, fucking Dragon Ball. But I definitely like it. Yeah, it was a good, it was a good fun time. It was good art. We honestly have almost fuck all to say because we, because when it comes to reviewing, we don't know what the fuck to say. Yeah. Unfortunately, even if Brandon didn't have the situation that currently happened to him, we couldn't exactly get him to watch a movie with us. Yeah. Was the theater, and he's the review guy. Yeah, the theater was pretty like packed, and there was like barely any room for even just the two of us, so, like, a three-person... Yeah, this is a comfy-ass theater, by the way. Yeah. If you're, like ever, a in, if you're ever in New York, go find an Alamo theater and just, like, watch a just movie. Just chill. Or... Yeah. Plus oh my god, remember that... Yeah, Yo, remember that fucking asshole who dressed like Goku in the front seats? Oh my god. I was dying from that. Fucking. Ugh. Yeah, like, you was trying to grow a fucking unibrow. Oh, man. I'll, I'll give him an effort. I'll give him an A for effort. But it just it did not work. Like, I thought, I thought for a second this is about to be in. You know, remember that? This is actually a fucked up joke. Remember that one time a guy shot up a theater dressed as Batman? Oh, my God, the Batman movie shooter. Yeah, I thought that was about to be the same fucking thing over again. Yeah. Like, that is... like, folks, if you ever see a person dressed as a character from the movie you're watching, get the fuck out the theater. Or at least go in with extreme caution. 
<laughs> we're talking we're talking about Molotov cocktails, throwing knives, <laughs> 3D Actual printing muscle. guns. Yes, bring a 3D printer with you to print a gun. <laughs> Pr print the gun right then and there. Yeah. Use it. Uh, 3D printers fucking. Yeah, 3D printers fucking suck. I kind of want one though. Have fun waiting three days to print all dildo. <laughs> I I've not joking. Someone asked me three fucking days. Someone. Fucking seriously? They were trying to do a bad dragon. Oh my God. I just want to use it to make my own like 3D character, like 3D model my own characters and then put them on amiibo stands. <laughs> I'm poor. I guess we're just gonna shoot the shit for the rest of this. Um, what's the time right now? We're at the 16 minute mark. Oh, fuck. Well, since we like talking about the name of the episode and you're not falling through with it during mid podcast, what's the title of this one? Broccoli Man. I was thinking Greg and Zach. Get into a bit fight with the legendary super soon. All right, that would actually work. Just put that one in the description, actually. Yeah. Like with his name, let's go for we like WT for Weeb Talks. Broccoli Man strikes back review. That sounds good. Yeah, we'll go with that. Watts is not fucking do it whatsoever. I get lazy sometimes, but I'll try to remember it. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. If you're wondering why episode 4 took so fucking long, um, it's parts on Zach and the rest on YouTube. Yeah. Because like, Zach forgot to set the upload time properly. And then, and then we did. Me over. Yeah, the servers kept on fucking crashing mid up, like mid uploading. So, we only got it up yesterday. Because we recorded on a Friday. So, yeah. this. It got uploaded Thursday. Like, we record Fridays. Uh, Normally, we upload Saturdays. And then that was just like, nope, yeah. fuck you, Thursday. <laughs> yeah. So, forgive us if we're, not, if we're not consistent. Go fuck yourself. Yeah. I'm gonna fucking cook this bird in a minute if it doesn't shut the fuck up. <laughs> this is why... Owning a sword should be mandatory. Is it an African Grey? Yes. That's why, they're fucking noisy as shit. I should know why, there's one in the next room over. Yikes. Do you six repeated fuck you to me? Fuck you seriously? Yeah, because we curse a lot in this fucking house, so uh, she does occasionally say, like, shit, like, fuck you and eat shit. That's amazing. My it's bird not when you have to, it's, my, not, it's not when you have to explain it to the landlord when he suddenly gets cursed at not mm. by the fucking bird. Uh, uh, my bird understands when people, like, sneeze and will actually say bless you. <laughs> fucking asshole. <laughs> And then if you get hurt, the bird will also go, ow. <laughs> what a dick. Yeah. <laughs> Ever train your bird's an asshole? <laughs> it just picked up, like, everything from just being here. Someone just breaks their fucking spine on the staircase. Just, yeah. <laughs> just bursting. <laughs> Someone sneezing enough, blood coming out the nose. Bless you. <laughs> God. Like the best, the best thing my bird was gonna fucking do is remember her fucking name and then do a little weird ass dance. Remember, does that too sometimes, but like without the name part, like it just sits there and intimidatingly dances at you. <laughs> a fucking pep song, 
headshot and Joe Zazar bench is part three. Basically. <laughs> See, my bird doesn't intimidate anyone. It usually dances after it took a chunk out of flesh. It usually dances when it takes a chunk out of flesh of someone. Mm. You know, basic victory dance. Yeah. She does not fuck around. So you will. She, it's like that um meme. We'll stab without <laughs> propagate. We'll stab without warning. We'll stab as a warning. <laughs> yeah. Would you stab without warning? Or would you stab with as a warning? Yeah. I stab without a warning. I will warn people before I am about to stab them. At least most people. <laughs> the dude who. By the way, we're just shooting the shit at this point, so yeah. you know this is pretty much the point where the reviews stop because we don't know what else to fucking say because we don't know because we're not good reviewers. Yeah. And we only saw this movie once, so we don't still don't know the, all the fucking details. But like, what was that one fucking hentai where it's this chick with nerd glasses and became the most infamous fucking meme for like a few months? Ah! Emergence. I was supposed to read that as like my ninety sub thing. I was supposed to read that as like no, it was for eighty subs I think, and then I went into ninety, and then I'm like ah. And now it's ninety. Yeah. I still have to read through it. I'm thinking of just doing it like as Kermit. Kermit the Frog. Reads I'm not gonna watch that. Or Goofy. Like, just like the, um, her voice throughout the entire thing. What the fuck? Someone actually drew it in completely, a uh, complete alternate fucking ending for that. Are you kidding me? Yeah, where she doesn't go on drugs, she meets some guy she likes and she has a fucking happy family. Oh, damn. And it's a fucking wholesome, and I accept this as a canonical ending. Fuck the fuck the original author. I'm gonna have to do she so still has a fucking, she, she gave her fucking daughter the pigtails, too. Oh my god. Yeah, I just, I just remember fucking seeing one of your tweets. It was like, it was from Don't Bully in Nekatoro. And you said you wanted to pummel the, the fucking character yeah. to a bloody pulp. I just, I, the fucking face is like one thing, and then like everyone's retweeting that one this video. Mug- Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. I just remember something. I think you're gonna like this. Give me a second. Okay. I remember I saw the I remember I saw the fucking original for this. Shoot your bird, please. I'm going to He's fucking... gonna be bird. Give me a sec. Shut up, Lord. Okay, Zach, my name is actually Bird. Yeah, I think Zach actually killed his bird. I haven't killed it yet, because technically it is my mother's bird. Not mine. Ah, okay, found it. Okay. I'm guessing you sent it over to Discord? Or over Twitter? Yeah, I'm going to take Discord. Discord. Okay. This is gonna take a oh there we go. No, stop that. Oh, stop. Do not make me think of this. No. I do not agree with this. <laughs> this is false and wanna, wanna give the readers context? No. I mean do you viewers context? <laughs> okay, fuck you. I'll give the viewers context. So, for this character, Nagatoro from the fairly popular manga, I don't fucking know. Don't bully me, Nagatoro. See, uh, some person made a comparison, and it's... See, pretty much makes the same fucking faces as Ed, Eddie from Ed and Ed, 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 Ed. Oh, fucking kill me. See, pretty much makes the same fucking faces as the character Eddie from Ed, Ed, and Eddie. I hate this. This is so fucking cursed. I have seen worse. I've 
watched people actually losing their lives for real, and it's not nearly as cursed as this. Jesus Christ. I have made a couple of cursed images in my lifetime, and none of them are as bad as this. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, if you're wondering why there's no fucking music OBS is hell to work with. Especially for me. So no more music, folks, sorry. Unless I can somehow get a better computer. My one suggestion was to download the entire fuck all the fucking songs. But no, god no. Yeah. My computer would probably kill itself. <laughs> Actually uses the fucking mouse as a noose. I don't even have a mouse anymore. It broke. <laughs> Burning from the first time he tried to kill, he tried killing himself. <laughs> uh, God. What the fuck? What? Jonathan just DM me saying, "So, uh, the boys want me to buy thigh high socks. What the fuck am I supposed to say to this?" How the fuck do you respond to this? Just don't respond. <laughs> For the love of God, do not respond. I'm not going to. That's the appropriate action when you when your bro says the boys want me to buy thigh hot socks. Just don't just don't fucking respond, move past it, and never bring it up, even when he tries. Yeah, when he tries to just change the subject. It's like talking about. It's like talking to your parents about how su how successful you are. Just immediately change the subject. That cut deep. Or else they're gonna find out. You, or else they're gonna find out you do a podcast about anime with your one with the one friend they never met because you make because you because the reason why your friends is you open it up with any of you like Jew jokes. That's actually how me and Zach became friends. I'm not joking. Me and Zach and Brandon. Um, I went over to a table because I was a lonely fuck at lunch, and I, because I heard the mention something about Jews, and I decided, you know, fuck it, I'm gonna give it a shot. And I, and the first thing I said was, so I heard you, so you guys like Jew jokes? And we've been friends ever since. <laughs> Our friendship is literally based off making anti-Semitic jokes. I mean, it's a tale as old as time if you really think about it. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Sonic Boom has some weird ass character designs and proportions. Yeah. There's this one character that looks like a, that consistently looks like a fucking twig. I forget what's the name of it. Oh, Zach, I found the most cursed image. It literally has everything you hate. You ready? I'm, I'm gonna turn yeah, this probably would be the reason why Zach killed, him, killed himself. Zach? Zach? Oh. What? You did not do that. Well, I didn't do anything. That was a, this is a crime against fucking humanity. Literally all the things that I hate that ha hates in one PNG. I fucking I hate this. Zach, Zach, my fucking bur my fucking birds now eat trying to eat her cage. I blame you.
I hate this. I want. I want to burn this. Is there a way that I can digitally burn something? On a CD, yeah. I just got that little joke, bitch. Yeah. Fucking, you open yourself up. I kind of hope you know that. Yo, you yo, you ever realize that Hertz donut was the original Ligma? What? Yeah, Hertz donut, like donut, like Hertz donut, as in oh. do. It. And it's like Hertz. Hey, you want a Hertz donut? Sure. And then it's just you like... punch the fuck out and it's a Hertz do, 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 donut. <laughs> That's a, that was original Ligma. Except it was actually more rewarding because you get to beat the shit out of anyone you didn't like. Yeah. Yeah, instead of trying to fucking politicize it and weaponize it. I I seriously can't believe someone tried to fucking politicize Ligma because of fucking Ninja from Fortnite. Fucking what? Okay, so back when Ninja said he wouldn't stream female gamers because it would probably lead to fucking a shit ton of rumors that would ruin his marriage, some chick said, oh, what, you scared of Ligma? I and then she, I fucking then she fucking went on a tirade with the word Ligma entered in every fucking sentence. God, I hate Twitter. Oh, you know, I just realized because we actually want this. Uh, Rick Vicks. I forgot his stupid fucking last name. Rick, the guy who voiced Broly in the English dub. His career is fucking over. Yeah. Like, it's done for. I and looked into some of the stuff. It's not that good. The thing is, some of the, some of the stuff is actually... F- yeah. But a lot of this... It, it's just, like, but a lot of shit he did at cons might be real. Yeah, I know, I have a feeling the stuff he did at cons are real, but then, like, some of the other allegations aren't as true, or just, like... Oh, yeah, that, that long-ass fucking story about how he, you know, brainwashed one fucking chick. Yeah, that's, that's not... You know the most ironic thing? He's a devout Christian, but his most famous role is playing Edward Elric, the guy who's a, who's, is a, Literally he's a liberal... Fucking, yeah, an actual atheist. I just hope that people can separate art from artists and still enjoy, like the old. They actually stuff. did. Someone actually made a good post because if 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 he actually is this kind of predator, someone did the best kind of thing to separate him mm-hmm. for the character, and it says, "Here's a suggestion: Edward Elric would hate Vic." Yeah, and I'm, and that makes sense. If he really is this kind of shit bag, I'm pretty sure Edward Elric would fucking hate his guts. I don't know. I don't know the guy. I don't, I know some of his roles. He's a decent voice actor. I don't know the full fucking context. Just I'm not sure what the fuck's going on. It could be another hit piece that's trying to get best friends for a person's career. I mean, either way, he's already to. been he's already been kicked out of Funimation. I th- he got kicked out of Rooster. He got kicked out of Funimation's Rooster Teeth. And his most recent I've- role has ended up being Bubsy. It's a fall from grace, I mean, if I ever seen it. Well, his recent role was Bo- Broly, remember? Yeah, but no, he's slated to play Bubsy in the next fucking Bubsy game. There's the new one? Yeah, and it's M-rated. I think Greg fucking died. I threw my phone across the room. Yeah, that's a reasonable response to being told there's a fucking... Sequel to the PS4 Bubsy game. <laughs> That's M rated. Yeah. What the, what the fuck is going on anymore? I don't. I don't know. Uh, okay. An M rated Bubsy game. What the fuck? Sad and strange. I don't like it. I, I got I got to look this shit up. Okay. 
cold balls of fire. Because this could be a clunker. Balls of fire? Paws of fire. My god, of course it has to be a fucking pun. Yeah. Look, the thing is, I like Buddy Buzzy's. Kill me. I like Bubsy's design. I just don't like him as a fucking character. Yeah. Oh, God. It is ugly as fuck. Why does this, like, little. Why does these little two motherfuckers look like Garfields? I have no idea, but I think I know exactly what you're referring to. God, this is also. These models are horrendous looking. He always looks like he's trying. He has his eyes constantly fucking half loaded, and it's actually pissing me off. It's apparently it's looking to Kickstarter for DLC. Oh my god, I just realized he has one fucking eye. Oh my god. And it's he coming to the Switch. Oh no. Zach, this could be what kills the Switch. Oh, it's on Steam. Of course it's on fucking Steam. Kids, here's a lesson. If you want to make a game, and you have nowhere to pub you have nowhere to publish it, try Steam. They take anything at this point. Yeah. I think I might upload my Waluigi game there. If that doesn't get stricken down by copyright. Yeah, if not, try dot itchio. They take other shit too. Look, this, look, look, he has, a, he has the fucking Sonic eye syndrome, it's, but in the middle, this, it's worse, because there's separate. fucking, like, they're like lumps. Yeah, it's like, at least, Sonic, at least it has one consistent eye. This is literally like an indent in the one eye. Oh, God. I'm, I, I am, I swear to God, I'm about to fucking go, go right now and redesign Bubsy for these fuckers. Would you do it like Sonic style, where he has one eye still, or would you do it like... I will separate the fucking eye. I hate the whole Sonic one eye shit. Mm. Especially when almost every other fucking character has two eyes. By the way, we talk this is devolving to random shit in front of him. Just fucking click off yeah. the video. You know what's sad about Sonic games? Because the biggest complaint is Sonic has the like the dumbest fucking friends. Mm -hmm. All on art, art, and we never, and we'll never see them in any game. Shit. Like all the cool fucking characters that he has conflicts with and genuine like interests in, we'll never see them. That that fucking sucks. We'll never see Bunny wrap up. Anthony, the fucking coyote. Like, Synthesizers nope. Said. We, fuck, we never, we'll, we'll never, we'll fucking never even see the egg bosses, who are actually pretty fucking cool. Hmm. Like, you know what would have been better grade over the Sonic Forces boss lineup? Besides rehashing old fucking fights? Let's use the egg bosses, man. I like, enjoyed some of those rehashes. I don't. Like, here, let me describe them to you. They're a bunch of uh, fucking Mobians, is what they're basically calling, but with cybernetic enhancements, and they actually have character development, as in, none of them want to fucking work with Eggman, but they're almost, well, one of them does, they all have to, because he fucking controls their lives. Act, literally. Wasn't that, like, the plot of the Deadly Six? No. Not even close. No, it was like they didn't want to work for him, but he had that he had the magic conch, so they had to. And then they took that shit back. So it's just it's just like what the, those fuckers wanted to do, but with the, the extra. No, stuff. no, but then he can actually kill them, even if they try to like fight against them. Mm. Like straight up, shut down their organs. Oh. I'm not fucking around here. Fuck. In fact, I think one of the first lines he ever says to him was, Look, I know you hate me. I know you all hate me, and I hate you all. Well, let's get this meeting over with. Uh, 
I'm still looking at Bubsy shit right now. Why? Why would you torture yourself like that? Why do you have shoes now? He has shoes now? What? Yeah, he has shoes now. What the fuck? Weird. At this point, just put pants on him. Yeah. If you're gonna put fucking shoes on him. If you're gonna put a shirt and shoes on a character, just put pants on him. It's either you put pants on him or you give him a big old floppy penis. Someone already did that for us, don't worry. I'm not joking, I've seen that. I don't doubt it. And the thing is, that's not- it wasn't a- it's a fucking trans Bubsy. All this talking is gonna make me start smoking again. I- I- I don't blame you, honestly. This is something oh, hey, worth doing. Someone's pointing out he 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 fucking stole Sonic one of Sonic Sonic's poles. Really? Oh my fucking god! The only difference is he's just sticking he's sticking out a thumb. Bubsy on original and I'm in fire. He fucking stole Sonic's poles with Sonic's eyes. Are we at the hour mark yet? I have no idea. We're at 40 well, minutes. Fuck, you, don't want, you just want to end this episode regardless? Yeah, sure. Okay, we're out. We're done with the shit. Yeah. Um, um, Vic Monroe's, Vic Monroe's career is over. The Burnley movie is good. And there's a Bubsy game coming out. That's M rated. I'm rated. I'm fucking rated. Fuck? And I am about to go puke my brains up again. Oh. Fucking hell. Oh, bye. Bye.